Hi there, folks, and welcome to another Workspace Wednesday right here on Lean Strategies International, LLC, where you can find solutions that ignite your power. Now, before we get started, if you want more tips on supply chain, operations, Google Workspace, technology and business, or any of those sorts of things, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and click that bell notification so that you can see the videos as soon as they come out and get free tips and knowledge every single work week to continuously improve your life. Well, this week we're going to be looking at how we can split cells in Google Sheets using a custom separator. So you'll see right behind me in this Google Sheet, a few weeks ago we did a split function and I'll leave the link for that down below in the description so that you can watch that video if you want. The split function that we use split our first names and there were different ways to do it but this week we're going to see how we can use a custom separator. A little bit simpler, we don't have to write a function um, to split different words. So let's say we've got a list uh, of students in an attendance sheet and we'd like to split that list up into first and last name without writing a function. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and get rid of this first. And we'll do that by selecting both of the columns. And we're just going to simply delete the cell. And so that's all gone. And now we're ready to split our fun or split uh, column A by first and last names. So I'm gonna open this up a little bit so it's easier to see. So what we're gonna do first is we're going to select the cells that we want to split. So we'd select the range just by simply clicking and dragging. That'll highlight those cells. And then we're going to go over to our data and scroll down to split text to columns. So when we click on that, what it's gonna do is open up this separator right here. And you can see there's already a couple of errors right there, and that's because it just automatically um, detected automatically there, which was by the comma. And you see what happens when we do that, it overwrites the column next to it, so in this case, column B. So what we gotta do before we actually split our column, we're just gonna go back here by clicking the undo, and we're going to select column A, right click again, and we're gonna insert one column. And that way when we split the columns using our custom separator, it won't overwrite our attendance or our check marks. So what we're gonna do is select the range, we're gonna go back up to data, back down to split text to columns, and you'll see it'll automatically do it based on a comma. Now they all didn't have a comma, so that could be an issue. You might have multiple things. But in this case, it considered the comma uh, as the separator or the delimiter and broke it up that way. So in the case of our first three, we see that it worked pretty well. We had Mike Bilter, Sandra Thomas, Stephanie Royal. Now what about these last three? We wanna split these by a space because that's the delimiter here that we need to define. So what we can do in that case is we can select this range, we can go back up to data again, we can go back down to split text to columns. It's gonna say detect automatically, but if we click this drop down, we can split column A by a comma, by a semicolon, by a period, or a space, and we can even put in a custom one. Now in this case, our delimiter is a space, so we're gonna go ahead and click on the space, and you'll see that it automatically splits those up. So now we have our entire list split up uh, by a delimiter using the simple split text to columns. So let's try one more time here before we get going, and I'm gonna go ahead and just undo these, and then we're gonna go in on these ones and erase the comma so that the delimiter on all of them is exactly the same. What we're gonna do is highlight the range of cells in column A. We're gonna go up to data. We're gonna go down to split text to columns 
and we're going to look for spaces to split it by. And there you have it. That's how you can split text to columns. Now remember, there's a few links in the description down below. And also, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those down below in the comments section. We'll try to get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks again for watching right here on Lean Strategies International LLC, and we'll see you next week.